Hello, live chat, live stream. Hopefully we are live. I think that was the perfect countdown. I can see myself yeah, slowly was. counting, so, but I think that we pretty much made it. <laughs> Hi, everyone. We're here. It is Gurge and I, and whoa, we have got some crazy winning products for you today. But first of all, welcome. It is so nice to have you all here. Um, before we get started, you know, I just want to know who is joining us. Please say hello in the chat. Um, I love to see whoever is here. I noticed that there was uh, Dame John is already here, one of our regulars. <laughs> and also that there was a lot of discussion about uh, TikTok. So, you know, it's good um, to hear it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, AliExpress. Oh, AliExpress, excuse me. Yeah. And we were talking about TikTok actually being banned um, in India and the fallout of it. But yeah, that's so crazy that AliExpress was uh, actually banned there, huh? Yeah, and we'll definitely stay on top of that. And we always put out news related to stuff like this. So um, mm -hmm. although we don't have all of the information, we, did, we will stay on top of it and let all of you know for sure. Yeah, absolutely. That is some crazy news. That I is guess crazy. You know, India, we were just saying they don't play lightly. If they are, <laughs> no. if they need to ban something, they will do it. But I'm really excited to see uh, actually the fallout of this because we were just discussing, you know, what happened in India after TikTok was banned. It was over 100 million users. There was so many people who were using, uh, uh, you know, TikTok there. So um, hi, Charlie. Charlie's watching from London. Welcome. Riri, hi from South Africa. Hey, Super folks. Cool. Um, Anyways, yeah, so it, actually, if anyone is uh, Chitrali, I see you're saying you're from India. Well, welcome. I'd love to know what was the fallout after TikTok was banned there and now that AliExpress has been banned. Let us know. I'm super interested and um, I'd love to dive, dive deeper into that as we, yeah, uh, sure. as we get into some winning products today. You know? Cool, yeah. And let us know if you use Byte as well. We saw that a lot of people had transitioned to Byte. Um, that would be cool to know if a lot of you folks did as well. Yeah. Hi, Alex from Toronto. That's nice. I'm from Toronto and Gurch is actually from Vancouver. So yeah, that city. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so welcome everyone. This is going to be a crazy live stream. So let me just get some housekeeping out of the way before we get started. So my name is Megta and I've been working with Oberlo and Shopify for three years, over three years now. So I've seen hundreds of stores, bad ones, great ones, ones that make zero dollars and ones that make six figures. So I've got quite a wide range of knowledge when it comes to drop shipping and e-commerce. And I think Gurge is the same, but if you'd like to introduce yourself, Gurge, before we keep it moving. Yeah, I'm Gurge and um, I've been at Oberlo and Shopify for about three and a half years as well. Worked with thousands of dropshippers, thousands of entrepreneurs, um, went through a bunch of BFCMs, which we're coming up to this weekend. So we've mm -hmm. definitely worked with a lot of merchants. Yeah, we've worked with, between the two of us, we've worked with a, a lot couple of thousand. merchants. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Easy. So easy. So one other thing that I want to mention is that this live stream is going to be available completely in full after this video. So if you miss any of it, no problem. Also, all the products that we talk about today are going to be dropped into the chat. And after the video, they'll be uploaded in the description and in a comment. So if you miss it as it's going up in the chat, don't worry about it. It is going to be available. And finally, one other thing that I really want to mention is Gurge and I, we have the chat open here. So we are reading the chat as you all are joining us. And we want to make sure that you're guessing the winning products with us and that also you're asking any questions you have about them. So let's say, you know, if you're worried about pricing or if you're wondering about another aspect of the product or even just drop shipping in e-commerce, feel free to drop it into the chat. Uh, sometimes it moves a little fast, but we, we try to keep an eye on it. And as we discuss winning products, we look at the chat and you know we answer those questions. So that's kind of how we structure it. So please make sure to always ask questions. Um, it kind of helps us understand you know, uh, what exactly you want to learn and what you need to know. So don't forget to ask questions. And we also uh, have someone helping us out in the chat so that we can get to them. And I think that's pretty much all of our housekeeping. Yeah, that should be good. That should be good, except 
to smash the subscribe button. <laughs> we are here every single Tuesday and we are always dropping the newest winning products. These products, I want to mention everyone, we're not just thinking, are these winning products? We actually go into the data. Thankfully, because we work at Oberlo, we have access to the data. We got the clearance from the team that we're allowed to go in, actually figure out what's selling the best and give you those products. So these products are certified winners. And today I have something a little bit special for you. Usually we look at what products have sold the best, but this time what I did was I sorted the data sheet by what is having the biggest GMV growth. What is having the biggest growth? So that means products that they're not just like going up like this. They're shooting like this. They are seeing an insane amount of growth right now um, in November. And so this is why I thought, you know what? Let me get these products for you all because nobody can say they're saturated. These products are yeah. just about to shoot up. Um, and I think that you'll be surprised by some of them, but also I think that they will be really exciting. So let's just get right into it. I see some already uh, questions coming in. I've got them up in here. Hopefully Gurdjie you do too. And we can yeah. talk about them as we get into our winning products. So let's start with number one. So this cool. product um, is an accessory and it's also in the wellness niche. So we've had something like it before and it's you might be annoyed to see it, but it is something that is exploding in the last little bit. Any, and it's something that I think could maybe be sold in a yoga store. Any ideas, Gurge or the chat? Okay. First one I'm going to go with is the obvious resistance bands. If it's no. okay. How about those water bottle infusers, like the tea water bottle infuser, you throw some fruit in it. A little cap fill it up with water i'm sure we're gonna see those in in january this yeah. is something that could be i think could be thrown into a yoga store but i'm thinking more the the spiritual side of yoga rather than fitness so think about in while it is not a band it's an accessory so it's something that you actually wear Ooh. Mm, yoga pants it couldn't be that that's not an accessory um one of those little like tapestry things what's the tapestry you can put on like a pot like a yoga poncho i'm not sure what the word word is for that <laughs> it's not a yoga poncho but i love that there is such a thing as yoga ponchos okay i see charlie in the chat is saying wellness necklace so it's not a wellness necklace um but it is okay Good day, mate, John. I think this is this is close as we're going to get because it's hard to describe. It is a bracelet. Tammy, I see you're saying bracelet as well. So both of you, I think, are correct. And we'll drop it in the chat right now. So what this actually is, it's a crystal bracelet. And you've seen it before. If you've joined our winning products, I know you're probably tired of seeing it. You're thinking, how many times are they going to suggest these bracelets? But this is the one that's shooting up in the data sheet. It is an ohm bracelet. It comes in a variety of different colors and it also has a little ohm symbol. Now, if you are wondering, how do I get into the yoga niche? I'm not gonna sell, I don't wanna sell leggings. I don't wanna sell yoga mats. I don't really wanna sell yoga accessories. I think this is one of the most uh, perfect products because it's got um, that ohm little uh that little ohm symbol and it also has different colors that can represent different crystal colors and chakras which is a huge thing right now are you surprised and, uh, uh, to be honest i'm not that surprised and it is also a cheaper product um mm -hmm. products on the lower end are always really good to get customers into the door or in this case onto your website uh, a while ago, a year or two ago, free plus shipping offers were also really big. I'd be interested to see if something like that could work again. Yeah, absolutely. And I think it definitely could for this product. I will say I have a, I have a drop shipping store that sells accessories and I, it hasn't really been active for a while. But the other day, I just got a few sales that came in organically. And I, as I was fulfilling the orders, what was really amazing was that I was reminded accessories are the best things to sell because these 
their earrings that I was selling, but the same with this bracelet, the cost is so small. You know, if you're selling huge lights or something like that with shipping and with the actual cost of the product, you might be coming up 20 to $30. So if you want to really make a lot of money, it's, you've got to increase the price a lot which makes it a lot harder for someone to actually press buy. But when you're selling something like a bracelet or you're selling something like earrings, you can sell them for 15 to $20, but they actually only cost you, you know, around a few dollars, um, around a few dollars each. And these ones in particular actually only cost $4, which is kind of an insane profit margin. That is insane. And it's, and like you're saying, it is always easier to sell these type of products. And if you do couple it up with yeah. other types of products, it's a good way to get somebody in and try to upsell them with other products and increase your average order value. Absolutely. And, you know, when it comes to bracelets, you can offer them in bundles or whatever it may yeah. be. But one of the, one of the biggest products that we've seen also is being a winner in the last um in the last little while while is tapestries now if you're on tiktok you've seen these tapestries or on youtube to be honest they're always in the background of everyone's videos um and those have been super popular so that would also be a great product to sell in a store like this um and it definitely would make a really big splash i think with anyone that's interested in chakra spirituality all that sort of stuff, but also surprisingly, a lot of people on TikTok are now really into that. So I think that would also be a a really great market to look into. Definitely. And I think generally because the package is also a smaller mailer package, uh, if you're shipping something in a box, I've found most of the time it's going to take longer, but things like tapestries or accessories or jewelry, they'll come in the little flat mailers and I've found it, it can come a little bit quicker. Yeah, absolutely. You know, uh, the more that you can take a product and make, uh, the more you can look for a product that's simple, lighter, cheaper, it is going to be easier for you to sell overall. So I didn't want to include this product because it's also got a lot of different variants, a lot of different colors. And this product I think is going to be a huge winner in the last 30 days. It's had over 2,500 orders. So it's making a splash and, you know, I think that we've seen a lot of different bracelets before, but this one has that little ohm, that little ohm um, symbol. And I will be honest, it makes a big difference for people. They really resonate with that. And I think that this is a great way to get into that yoga market without having to sell, let's say leggings, which you will find a lot of competitors with. Yeah. And if you want to learn from an absolute killer competitor, you can check out Pura Vida bracelets, I believe it is. Um, Check out their site, take some inspiration from it. They are absolutely killing it as well. And they've been doing so for a a little while. Um, They also, yeah, you should just check out their website. They do some awesome things. They donate a portion of their funds. I can't remember which um, charitable organization, but it's a really cool business. And yeah, they just sell bracelets. So Let me just drop that out. right in the chat. So that's purevita.com. Good day, Mijan. Sorry, you're correct. That is definitely a lotus flower, not the ohm symbol. My apologies. Uh, I totally got that wrong. And you know what's ironic is I did yoga this morning, so I should have got that correct. <laughs> <laughs> really embarrassing. Sorry, I was thinking about it being a perfect product for a yoga store uh, because I think that it perfect goes perfectly in line with it. And- All right. I'll just quickly grab uh, one of the questions here. Isaac asked what Facebook interest would be good to target for a car windshield snow cover. So the easiest one that comes to the top of my head is just start picking cars in the interest niche or like uh, Tesla, Ford, whatever, whatever you might think, pick any car niche and try those out. Um, That's going to be your easiest bet. And then for suggestions from there, you can also choose vehicles and then start clicking on the suggestions uh, button when you're in Facebook's audience and you'll get a list of suggestions. Uh, That's the best way I would say to start. Yeah, absolutely. And coming up, we are going to have actually a video that's going to be a Facebook 
ads guide for lazy people. So if you're looking for the easiest way to get your Facebook ads started, we are making a lazy ad guide. And this is with someone that's recently made thousands of dollars on Facebook ads. So if you're interested in something like that, let me know in the chat because I'd love to know that this is something that you'd like to see. Um, Facebook ads, I think one of the biggest things that I've learned after working with some pro drop shippers is that sometimes people make it more complicated than it seems because they want to sell you their courses. Yeah, you heard that right. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to spoil any surprises for anyone, but the fact of the matter is the more difficult it is for you to understand Facebook ads, the easier it is for someone to sell you a course and tell you that they need mentoring. So we want to kind of break through that and not step on anyone's toes. Mentoring is still an amazing way to you know have a, an expert help you out but when it comes to facebook ads uh, we have been told that there is and i have seen for myself that there is a simple way to do it i'm seeing a lot of positive response so i'm really excited then for you all to uh see that video okay Me let's too. jump into the next product gurge cool let's go Awesome. Okay. So the next product that we have on the list today is it's a pet product. So this pet product, product. yep, yeah, it's a pet product. Now this pet product is going to be um, something that you can use for cats, something that you can use for dogs. Um, and I would say, uh, I'm going to start it there. I'm going to start it there. It's, it's a, it kind of is in relation to COVID. So it's something that Ooh. I think kind of you could have used before, but with COVID, it's definitely um, going to, you know, it's definitely going to help a because of COVID or it's definitely pet. exploding because of COVID. A dog mask. Maybe not. not, maybe not a dog <laughs> mask. Uh, something that helps pets during COVID. Hmm, that's a tough one. I think every pet accessory I've ever seen has nothing to, nothing really that sticks out to me that would perform better during COVID. Um, it's not a toy. I see someone asking, is it a toy? It's not a toy. Uh, it's actually going to be a product um, that is maybe more cosmetic. I don't know if I gave it away right there, but let me just say cosmetic. Let cosmetic me product. Oh, nail grinder we got in there. We got a harness. Those are some good guesses. Let's see. Um, something Roger, during COVID. I just want to add, Roger, just so you know, um, uh, those pet nail grinders have made a lot of dropshippers tons of money. So that's actually, if that's not a bad product to throw into the store with this because that is absolutely a huge winner that has dominated the market. IQ Ball Treat. That sounds awesome, whatever that is. Um, one thing that I'm thinking is because maybe your pets are at home more and you're inside something to pick up all the pet hairs. No, but it has, it does have something to do with pet hair. I okay. will say that you're very close. So what product would you be using for your pet hair? Pet hair, maybe a trimmer to groom my dog. I don't have a dog, but if I did. <laughs> <laughs> your imaginary dog. Yeah. It is not That's... a trimmer, but you know what, I guess I'll just give it away. So it is not a trimmer, but it is actually a pet silicone pet brush and you use it to help you wash your pet's hair. So Ooh. yeah, Tammy, it would be perfect to use with pet shampoo. And to be honest, I feel like pet shampoo would actually be a great, um, would would actually be a great Facebook ad interest to target. If you were looking, if you wanted to sell this product, you know, people are going to want or maybe appreciate using a silicone brush. Yes, Gary, it is a pet hair brush. So what this is, it's a soft silicone brush. It's in the chat right now. And what it does is it just helps to, you know, helps you give your cat or dog um, a bath and help you actually, you know, lather them up. And that way you don't necessarily, not that you can't use your hands, but it is always nice if you have a brush and this product is seeing, um, a lot of growth and a lot of good reviews and that's why I included it because I think a lot of pet owners are really resonating uh, with it. And one thing about pet owners um, as well as parents actually, pet owners and parents will spend whatever on their pet mm -hmm. and on their babies. Um, it's a great niche and 
people really don't want to cheap out on these type of products. So you can really increase your value. Uh, try to show as much value as you can for the product, because if somebody's buying a product for their pet, they want to make sure that that is the best product for their pet. So yeah. something like this on the product copy on the page, you want to outline all of the benefits you can possibly think of. Um, make sure you have reviews from pet owners sharing how it's done. You can get your friends to make videos if, you, if they have a pet or if you have a pet, make your own videos. But you really want to show um, other pet owners using this with their pets and as well sharing all of the benefits of this product. Like silicone products, the bristles aren't really going to break off. Um, that's one thing you could go with long lasting. There's a lot of different angles you could hit this with, but definitely you will be able to get that price a little bit higher versus something like the bracelet where you want to try and offer a discount or offer the product for a cheaper price to entice somebody to buy it. Absolutely. And um, I see that um, someone was asking a question, what does it have to do with COVID, Sebastian? And Gademe John is absolutely right. You know, in Canada, it depends on what part you're in. But here in Toronto, we just went into another lockdown. So that means that um, it's going to be a lot more difficult for, for someone to actually go about grooming their pet, getting them properly washed. And now this is something that you people have started to do at home. Some did before, but not everyone. And now it's something that kind of everyone has to do. So this is kind of the next step forward. I think that we all know COVID's going to be kicking around for a little bit longer. It's not going to be over tomorrow. So people are investing in products like this silicone pet hairbrush to make sure that they are able to groom their pets for the foreseeable future, we'll say, until things kind of get uh, resolved a little bit or are moving in a more positive direction. And yep. uh, Billy's also just throwing out there, what about the pet hair washing gloves? Those are still, still trending, but um, as Megda was saying, all the products she's going to share right now with us are the ones that have the biggest increase in sales uh, over the past month. So I've also yep. seen that product trending. Really easy one to put together on a store like this. Um, they're both very, very similar. You can kind of even focus just on, I guess, pet grooming instead of like yep. toys and stuff. But yes, that's definitely a product you can couple with this and one that will sell well as well. Yeah, absolutely. And all right, Gurge, are you ready to jump onto product number three? Yes, let's jump into it. Hopefully, I, get, I think I'm over two right now. Okay, perfect. <laughs> That's okay. Don't worry about it. I know sometimes the clues are kind of difficult. Okay, so the next one, this product is... This one is going to be hard to guess. I'm really sorry about that. But this product... No worries, we got something this. Something that is really... It's COVID appropriate. It's not, a, it's not medical, but it's an alternative that's perfect for winter. It's a, it's a, it's a COVID product, COVID safe product that is perfect for winter. Any guesses? COVID safe product that's perfect for winter. I'm going to go with a ski mask. A ski mask is close. Ooh. What's a ski mask? Is a ski mask the full? It's kind of like when you put on, um, it covers like your face. It's kind of like a balaclava. Okay. It's not it a has, ball, it's, it has it's not a ski mask or a balaclava, but that is very close. If anyone, you can guess Ooh. again, or if anyone in the chat has any idea, but it, that's right on the, that's, that's super close. That's so like. Uh, baklava. It, sorry. I'm a new saying that wrong for sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. But that would be pretty much like, they could be sold side by side. Let's say. Hmm. Okay. Something along those lines. COVID winter mask. Beanie. Actually, Land Ho has got it right. Um, and I think that LL and Luca, um, you're both correct. So it's not exactly a mask, but it's a product that you could use. Marcos is right on the money. It is a tube mask. So these are fleece tube masks. And if anyone is fami familiar with uh, motorcycles or racing, it's a fleece tube mask that you wear over and you can lift it up to cover your nose. So this is something that I actually used to wear um, just being outside in the winter. <laughs> I have one literally right here. There we go. Yeah, you essentially put it on your face <laughs> and it covers you like that. <laughs> Gurge, that's good. I'll give you a I point for that. that. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll give you a it. point for that. And this product, why I wanted to feature it is because it's seeing a huge increase. But if you'll notice, it says owl on it. And 
if you actually click through to the product on Oberlo, you'll notice that there are a bunch of different prints that you can um, that you can choose from. And the reason why I think this is such a genius product is because if you just want to sell a tube mask, it's going to be hard. I think that it's going to be really difficult because when it comes to Facebook ads, if you are if you are selling everything or if you're trying to target everyone, it can be really hard to find one person. You know, you're kind of just you're, you're kind of dropping a fishing line into, into the ocean and it's huge. But if you, if you take this product and the different prints and break down your Facebook ad interests in groups into people that are interested in owls, boom, you've gone from an ocean to a little pond and you will have a much better chance of actually, um, you know, of actually snagging customers there. Yeah, that's a great point. And it actually does have two functions or multiple functions. It's going to keep you warm. It does act like a mask. Um, And yeah, like you're saying, there's so many different designs, so many different areas you could target. There's a bunch of camo ones. You can target hunting or related niches as well. That is a cool product that will work across a lot of different audiences for sure. Absolutely. And, you know, Tracy, I want to mention that you're absolutely correct like cloth masks are not as effective as medical masks. And you want to make sure there you are not out here trying to tell people and give anyone medical advice. All you're trying to do is share is to actually sell a material tube mask. You know, for example, if you go on Etsy or anywhere that's selling cloth face masks, they know this is not a medical grade product. And as long as you let people know that, that's okay because you can also wear a mask underneath that if you want some extra protection. Just make sure to let people know um, and inform them. But otherwise, this is a winning product. And you know, this it's really important to note that a lot of people might be wearing this just for the winter on top of their masks, but it's a great alternative if you want to jump in and sell masks, but you're you know, you're not qualified to sell professional masks and you want to make sure that um, what you're selling is still going to be effective. It is warm, um, but it is not medical grade. Yeah. And the original use of this product, it it doesn't really seem like it is a mask. I think these have been around way before COVID. It is for the winter and we're coming up on winter. These can be used on the mountain um, anywhere. So it's not really just a mask, but it can double up and be used as that. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Now, are you ready to move on to the next question? Yeah, maybe let's grab one of these from the chat really quick. Um, I see a complicated one here. How can I deal with custom duties? I have an order magic draw tablet for myself to test before with Facebook ads and received a letter from FedEx. So this depends a lot from supplier to supplier. Generally, AliExpress suppliers will mark the product as uh, low cost. So you don't have to declare customs duties. With something like this, a lot of the time, it is going to come down to what was marked on the package and if the supplier did provide customs forms. So it's really hard to say if this is a larger product, it's more likely that you're going to have to pay customs. Uh, with a lot of smaller items, even when I ordered clothes off of AliExpress, like this is from AliExpress, they just mark it as $2 to avoid customs fees. So again, I I know this isn't the most helpful, but that really comes down to the supplier, the size of the product, what they're marking it as. And a lot of the time you can actually message your supplier beforehand and ask them about this or a little bit more detail. Sometimes they can let you know whether or not they mark it low cost to avoid customs duties. Absolutely. And one thing I will will note is I know it's very frustrating if your customer has to pay for customs. So I would definitely like Gerd suggested reach out to your supplier because that's the number one person that's controlling this. Legally, they do have to put how much it costs. Most AliExpress suppliers do put that it costs like one to two dollars so you don't have to pay customs, but that varies by supplier by supplier. And you kind of will need to speak to your supplier about that. Also, just remember that if you're ordering, you know, products, your customers understand that they may need to pay customs on something. That's not totally out of the ordinary. You know, I pay customs for most products. It's it's not something that I'm um, coming to. Uh, it's not something that I'm would be coming to the store with as a complaint because it's 
custom. You know, this is a government regulation. It's not really something that's like your fault as a store owner. You know, that's just how things work when you're buying products online. So while it is frustrating, speak to your supplier. And number two, try not to get it. Try not to let that be something to stop you from going to the next step. Make sure that you like accept that challenge, figure it out, find a solution, keep an eye on it, but don't let that be a deterrent from you like moving forward. Cool. And yeah, should we get to the next product? Absolutely. Let's go. Product number four. So this product is also kind of something that you would be using more for uh, COVID, uh, using more because of COVID. Um, And this product, it's not necessarily totally crazy, but the the growth on this was just insane. So I thought, you know what, I've got to include it in here. I want to give all you people, the juiciest the data and the fastest growing products. So now this product, it is something that um, you would use. Let's say it's something that you would use because you can no longer go out to restaurants and bars. So is that any, cl- hopefully that's a good clue. Can I get some guesses, Gurge or the chat? Restaurants and bars. So I would try to make a, my own bar. Um, maybe like a decanter set or some type of wine set? It's not a decanter, but I think that's a really cool product. And I think that for anyone wondering about a COVID appropriate store, a at-home bar store would be kind of cool. I think that would be a really cool way to, uh, you know, pivot from a lot of bars and restaurants being closed right now. I did see those cheese cutting boards, those like charcuterie cutting boards. I'm not sure if that's it but those were trending really well nope it's not that that's a great idea i see shot glass dispenser thingy i'd love to see what that is good day mate john uh chobin shop pour that sounds really cool it's not shot glasses but it's kind of it is a glass so i'll just tell you that and let me um go ahead and ask um for that to be dropped in the chat thank you this is actually just a crystal they are modern crystal glasses so they're glasses that you would use for um i don't know if i would say exactly cocktails um it would just be used for drinks but they look really funky they are they kind of have like twisted glass um let me just go ahead and uh let me just go ahead and grab that so it is a modern crystal glass it almost looks like a like a a standing glass like a just a regular glass you would use but these were showing an insane amount of uh, of growth recently so i wanted to include them there they are cool let's see oh nice see that also makes a great picture or a video something like that is really going to stick out from just a normal glass absolutely now this product i will be honest it doesn't seem like the most interesting product, but I wanted to include it in here because I think it's always good to, for us to talk about products that are to some degree available at a local department store. Like you can get glasses from Walmart, but here's the thing. This product is still showing a huge amount of growth and a lot of sales. So just because something is available on Amazon or just because something is available on you know, walmart.com doesn't mean people are not going to be buying it from your online store. And this product is a perfect example of that. Yeah, it definitely is. Yeah. Um, Let's see if we can go back and grab a couple of these harder questions so we don't miss out. So there's a couple of questions on finding dropshipping agents right now. Mm -hmm. So we have Lawrence and Michan ask about warehouses and dropshipping agents. Those are great questions. So firstly, when you're looking for a drop shipping agent, it's good to note that most of them won't take you on unless you're getting five to 10 sales a day. Um, it doesn't really become worth it at that point because they're going to end up stocking it. Some require you to pay a fee up front to stock some of the product. Some don't. And a lot of them also white label. Huge benefits there. The best ways to find them that I found, um, Dacian, who was on the Oberlow podcast last night, actually shared a lot of information about this. I would suggest anybody looking for a dropship agent, check out the Oberlow podcast, the newest episode. Let me grab um, a link for that in the chat. So everyone, you hold on, I'll get that link for you. Yeah. So he covers how you can find a dropship agent. He also shares uh, his own dropship agent, but essentially the best way to do it is through the community and through other dropshippers. 
you can go online and you can Google it. A lot of them are going to run ads and then you can't really tell if that's a dropship agent. If, if he is like, you won't be able to tell if that person is reliable, if you're just getting them off ads. But if you go to Reddit and search the dropshipping subreddit and just look for dropship agents, you can find a lot of information, a lot of actual real examples, people sharing tracking codes, um, through Dacian is also perfect because he's a drop shipper who has used the supplier and he's happy to share it with others. Uh, another one is Facebook community posts. You can reach out to people or reach out to other drop shippers who may have taken their business from drop ship to white label and look for sourcing agents. And a lot of, a lot of people in this business are happy to share information like this. So as long as you can find it through a community, I would say that's the best way to, do this yeah so reddit and facebook groups perfect yep and now i i want to mention everyone that the podcast is actually um it's available on spotify so that's the one where you can get the most recent one that just came out uh two days ago Last, as, oh yeah two days ago two days ago gurge he's on it so if you have you know if you have a question gurge is on it and uh he knows what is up with the latest information so thank you gurge let me i'll, I'll definitely share a uh episode link right in the in the chat for you all right now just so you can get to it as soon as possible oh cool. um we've already got the link over there and i'll write i'll just note down here's a direct link for spotify so i think that what's really important is you know, of course it's easier uh, to have, of course it's easier to have a personal supplier, but don't forget that it's, if you're just getting started, don't think about that. Get started yeah. with your business, build the store, find winning products, find niches, because you don't need a supplier until you have a product that's bringing you in, that's bringing you a lot of revenue and a lot of steady revenue. So if you're worried about a supplier, hey, I, I'll just let you know for Mike, my experiences over the last few years, maybe Gurdjieff, you've had a similar one. A lot of times when people think about step 200, they don't even get step one finished. So yeah. then they just shoot themselves in the foot and then they really, you know, they don't ever think about um, getting started and all those steps. They get overwhelmed and then they just don't even start. So if you haven't made one sale yet, focus on finding a winning product, getting that first sale, things like that. Keep the supplier in mind, but remember that, um, they are out there, they are available, but you've got to get to step, uh, get to that step first. Yeah, that's so true. Like before you even start looking for a supplier, like Meg just saying, you should be getting at least five to 10 sales per day consistently. Otherwise it's not going to be worth it. You can easily use overload and save yourself time and the yeah. hassle versus getting a supplier. If you're trying to scale your business, brand your own product yourself, then you can start getting into Drop shipping agents, white labeling, um, getting a fulfillment center. There's a bunch of different ways you can do this. But at that point is when you're really going to invest a lot more time and money in your business. Because again, at when once you start doing something like this, a lot of the time you're going to have to pay for the inventory or a portion of the inventory as well, right? So you don't want to do that when you're just um, trying to prove out your business model for your product or check different trending products. It doesn't make sense to do that right away. So definitely get consistent, get continuous sales. Yep. And that's kind of the natural path you go to. Once you're getting a consistent sales, you kind of think, okay, how do I cut down my shipping times? And you end up with either drop shipping agents or getting a supplier on AliExpress that has a US warehouse, for example. Absolutely. Thank you, Gurge. All right, and you're, are you ready for our last product? Let's do it. Hopefully I can get one out of five. <laughs> Okay, this product, I don't think anyone is going to be able to get because I was confused about what it was, but hey, it's exploding. So I thought it's got to go on the list and we're going to figure out why together. Okay, let's get it. Now, this product, it's in a sports, it's a, it's a sport. Um, it's in the sports niche. It's not your typical sport. Um, it's uh, in a niche that I feel like I have no, I don't know anything about, but it constantly comes up month after month with a lot of winning products and it's something that makes people a lot of money um now this niche it's something that you do you can only do outside and you can only do with a body of water i'll leave that there let's start with the niche can you guess what the niche is the niche surfing not surfing 
body of water swimming it's it's not swimming it's not swimming but you you are you've got to do it with water otherwise boating. it doesn't work it's not it's not boating but you would be on a boat to <laughs> to get this <laughs> to do this um let's see i'm going to see if we can get some hints from the chat so you have to be on the water it's a sport it's not water pa- polo swimming snorkeling that's a really good guess fishing nick got it right it nice one nick fishing now i'm not gonna ask um congrats nick that thank you that was uh, amazing and everyone else i really appreciate um the other guesses gary you got it right it is uh, it is definitely fishing so i'll we'll drop the product the winning product in the chat right now lando you also got it right now this one it's going to be confusing you're like what what is this but it is actually a mini fishing pen. So it looks like a pen. And then you just have like the separate, uh, you know, this, the separate contraption. And when you go to the water, you take this pen, you release it like this, and it becomes a fishing rod. And then you attach that other part to it. And now all of a sudden it's a fishing rod. Now, I know you might be thinking, Wow, this is strange. This is a strange. <laughs> this product. is a random product. <laughs> this is a random product. It's it's small, good day, John. It's tiny, and I think that's the idea. Like it's supposed to be, uh, it's supposed to be like really easy to carry, and it's supposed to be like mini. Now, at first, I was shocked, but this product, you know, the the growth since November first, so that's only a few weeks, has absolutely skyrocketed. It's on its way up. This is definitely going to be a winning product and it's on its way to be it's got a lot of sales and i went through the reviews myself on aliexpress and they're very good people seem to really like it they say it's very high quality and this product is kind of the perfect gift for someone who's into fishing um you know it's kind of it's kind of kitschy but to be honest that kind of makes it perfect if someone is let's say that my brother was really into fishing and I was like, okay, you guys have seen me talk about fishing. I don't even know what that thing is called. <laughs> you know, if I looked up fishing or if I was on Facebook and I was trying to find a product to give him as a present, that would be perfect. You know, so this is a, a very targetable product. And Lawrence, you're absolutely right. When you find products in niches like fishing, it is so much easier to sell them because targeting that group is very distinct. They have a distinct interest and it's really easy to find on Facebook. Definitely. And one other thing that I couldn't stop myself from thinking as soon as I saw this, if you can like kind of fast forward a video in the first three seconds of this pen turning into a fishing rod, fishing rod, that's like the ultimate scroll stopper. You're kind of just going to be like mind blown. Okay. This is a pen, but now it's a fishing rod. Yeah. Um, that's one really good way to get somebody to watch your ads. There's a ton of different ways you can angle this, even if it's a little bit more for I'm not sure the size of it or if it could be used with children. Um, yeah, it's like it's, this big compact with the pen and then it goes like that. It could yeah. be a great present, um, as you were saying, even for ch- kids, as long as it's kid friendly. Yeah, um, absolutely. And I want to mention, um, you know, everyone that uh, gorgeous idea, genius. So, you know, get this. When you look at it, it just looks like a pen. You start the, the one Point five of the first second of the video is this is not just an ordinary pen and then in three seconds it's super fast you take it out you attach this and then you're out on the water and you're already fishing so within three seconds you'd be able to snag someone's attention you would just you would reel them in frankly you would reel them in with that ad creative (laughs) and you would get that sale so i wanted to include this because it's really weird it's well i find it weird but people who are into fishing seem to really like it and i think that it is uh it would really make you a lot of music and i think absolutely some james bond music to yeah. david john would be a great idea it is so inspector gadget <laughs> it really is and that's actually a great way to even test it out um james bond music while that thing is opening up that's yeah. a great ad to test you can test it in a lot of other ways uh another thing i want to cover is we were just talking about scroll stopper for those of you who 
those of you who don't know um, exactly what Megda was just saying, scroll stoppers are the first one to three seconds of your ad where you try to get somebody to stop scrolling. Yeah, a hook lot them of the in. time, yeah, hook them in. <laughs> a lot of the time, you want it to be something that they haven't seen or something that really catches them off guard. And if you're on Instagram later today, start scrolling through videos and start noticing the first one to three seconds. Once you're aware of this and you start seeing it, because a lot of people are on social media all the time, you'll start getting a lot of good ideas. But one common one that I see, especially with dropship products, is a fast forward of how the product is used in the first one to three seconds to kind of get you curious to stay uh, watching that product or stay watching the video, sorry. Absolutely. And thank you so much, Kademe John. It was easy with the fishing ones, but yeah. yeah, sometimes they fall flat, but sometimes they work. So yeah, I'm happy they work with the fishing ones. Anyways, everyone. So it's been 45 minutes. Time flies when we're dropping knowledge bombs, winning products, and we're just having fun. So, you know, this is kind of the end of our time for this live stream, but we do this every Tuesday. So if you could, please make sure to drop a like button and hit subscribe. Um, we are always going to be uh, here every Tuesday and, you know, in the next few weeks looking to do multiple live streams a week. So you, if you want to join us, please hit subscribe and hit the bell notification. One thing I want to mention is when you actually get to join us while we're live, you can jump into the chat, ask questions, and we can answer them. So it really is nice to have you live with us here. This video will be available on our channel in full after as all the previous ones were and all the products will be linked down in the description afterward and also in a pinned comment um gurge uh last time was around in the comments afterward um you know i definitely will be keeping an eye on those comments too so if you have other questions make sure to not leave them in the chat but make sure to actually leave them as a comment on the video so we can get back to you yeah, exactly. Right when this is done, it's posted. Drop it in the comments. I see we missed a couple, but we're running out of time. But I'll definitely yep. be staying around. Um, and last time, G'day Mate John asked about his Facebook ad strategies, and we were working on that together. Hopefully, uh, I want to hear what happened with that today. So hopefully, you drop that in the comments too. How sick is that? All right, everyone. Sick. <laughs> Thanks for an amazing day. I hope everyone stays safe out there and keeps dreaming, keeps working hard. And yeah, let us know down in the comments if you have questions. And we'll see you next Tuesday with more insane winning products.